It's Sunday morning at Donington Park and members of the Townsville Ultralight Aircraft Association arrive for a day's flying. Donington Park is situated 20 miles from Townsville on the Charters Towers Road. The club has four Skycraft Scout machines. The Scouts are fully demountable machines and can be transported on suitable carrier bars on the smallest sedan cars. Rigging ready for flight is accomplished in a matter of minutes. The Scouts are equipped with a 186 c seat two-stroke engine specially designed to provide adequate power for ready liftoff and sustained flight. Final tensioning of the fabric wings completes the rigging. and the engine roars into life to commence the day's activities. Before any sustained flights are carried out, short hops taxiing to get the feel of the controls are necessary. This in itself is an exhilarating experience. airworthiness tests are made on another plane. Our intrepid airman, an early pioneer of the sport in Townsville, Professor Jim Parker, is off again making another run. problems bedevil Trevor Pickett. Ray Hawkins, an ex RAAF engine fitter of 20 years experience, is on hand with a wealth of knowledge. Parker returns from his run. An electronic ignition system is fitted to solve the problem. adjust the points and the plane is ready, we hope. Ground handling is most important before any attempted flight is made. The lightness of the scout is here indicated 
by the ease with which the ground crew retrieve this scout. It weighs a mere 122 pounds empty. Scouts are being lined up to be photographed. Indeed, it makes a colourful display. The colourful wingspan of 28 feet, these four planes look like butterflies. Consequence of a hard landing, an axle snapped, and if repairs have to be made in the field. In no time at all. Repairs are completed. The 186cc engine allows a takeoff speed of 24 knots, accomplished in 70 yards, and gives a cruising speed. 36 knots. The large wing area allows a stall speed of 18 knots. Large wing area and low centre of gravity allow for docile handling in flight. Axle repaired, Bob takes his machine out for a test run.
explains a very skillful pilot demonstrates some of the capabilities of the scout. Seems like we've disturbed the afternoon rest of the local inhabitants. These scouts are capable of climbing at 180 feet per minute and their fuel capacity of half a gallon enables a range of 28 miles for a duration of 40 minutes flight. The scout can be flown legally provided the limitations imposed by the Department of Transport are adhered to, which exempts the aircraft from DOT inspection and the pilot from holding a license. Other restrictions are a ceiling of 300 feet or in controlled airspace. It's not to be flown in cloud or at night visibility is less than 5,000 metres or within 300 metres of a road or public gathering. It is the responsibility of owners to adhere to the regulations so that this latest strand aviation sport may continue to be enjoyed by all who wish to participate. Ray Smith is available for all light aircraft. Flying is interrupted for a while as the 
Beechcraft lands. It is hoped that this uh, airfield will be the main venue for light aircraft Townsville in the future. Strapped to his helmet, Lance takes us on a short hop. And as the scout lifts off to the tune of singing wires and strumming fabric, one revels in the delight of open cockpit flying, previously the sole province of the early birds of aviation. And as the uh, shadows lengthen and the sun sets in the west, so another day's flying at Donington Air Park comes to an end. Thank you. 